First one of the year, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Today is May 26th. We're doing our first canoe trip at Algonquin Park. Our uh, access point is going to be Cache Lake this morning. Uh, we're just leaving North Bay, so we got a two hour drive before we get there. And we are going early because where are you, Eddie? Eddie? We're taking him. This is going to be his first canoe trip, and uh, we're just getting prepared for the summer, and we're going to have some big canoe trips this year. So hopefully he enjoys it. I think he will, but we just want to take a little short one for a few days and see how he's going to be in the canoe. So. Here we go. We're getting started right now. I know we said right now, but we gotta wait for the truck to warm up and defrost the windows. It's a cool morning. All right, we have to do our first stop of the morning. Not gas. Well, for the vehicle anyway. My gas for my husband's belly. He wants his Tim Hortons coffee with a breakfast sandwich. Piongo Lake. This is where we got to go pick up our paddles. A little out of the way. It's okay. Uh, Tosh has never been here before. It's her first time. Yeti's first time too. Right, Yeti? So we'll go pick up our paddles and we're going to hit the cache. And then, uh, then we'll begin our canoe trip. So here we go. We're already here. There's a lot more crazy people than us out here. So Yeti, you all set for your first canoe trip, hey? Yeah, so the plan is we are here at Cache Lake. We're just getting on all our gear ready, just filling up our cooler. And uh, so we're gonna start off, like I said, at Cache Lake, the Head Lake to Harness Lake, and then finally to Party Lake. We got uh, three portages. The first one is from Cache to Head, which is gonna be, I think that's the bigger one, 1 1.6. Then head to Harness, which is one kilometer-ish. And then we got a small little one to do of 145 meters over to Party Lake. And then we're gonna hit our campground. So here we go. And Yeti, where's your life jacket? Hey, we can't forget our life jackets. Stay, stay, sit. There you go, Yeti. You're doing good. Good boy, Yeti. No, stay, stay, stay. There's no room here. Yeah. If you're watching that video, you know you have to lay down. Get my bag all wet. Lay down. No. Yeti? No. <laughs> what are you doing there, Yeti? Eh? Mom's just starting Gavinza to track our trip. Oh, Strava. Strava. Sorry, Strava. What's a Venza then? A Venza is our, our trip planning. We're using both. We've got a lot of technology going on and got our little GPS over there to we need to get into trouble. There you go. Update on Yeti. Finally laying down. Stop making us panic about tipping the boat. You're doing good. Yes, you are. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Good job. You're doing so good. So we're just driving. Oop, my finger. We're just driving along here. A lot of old cabins. A lot of uh, docks on Cache Lake. Actually kind of cool. Yeti, don't move. And we're heading over there somewhere. I think towards the end of cash. So continue on, and you're doing good. 
Okay, I was doing this blind. I thought my Avenza was tracking me. It wasn't even tracking me. By luck, we are still heading in the right direction. So normally, if you kind of look around and if you're looking for a portage, if you look around, you see over, where's my finger? Right over here, there's a kind of hill. And over here, there's a hill. And right in between, that's where you're normally going to find your portages. So we're going to have a look and hopefully I'm right and I'll let you know. And uh, yeah, we're back on track. Hey, right, I found portage number one, a little bit of an uphill. Uh, I can't read it, but I'll let you know as soon as I get closer. Big log in front of here all the way through, so we're going to have to sneak around this guy here. Okay, so uh, like I said, a little closer here now. It's 1640. I think I said this was the short one. I can't remember. But anyways, Cash Lake to Head Lake. Portage number one. So this is not the short one. You ready, Yeti? First canoe trip, now your first portage. Right? Do we take your life jacket off? We leave it on? I don't know. Maybe we'll take it off. Go, Yeti. Snack time. Snack time. Yeti's having a snack, and we're going to have these things, honey stingers. We've tried the baby version of these ones. Now they come into a big cookie size. Try those. I think it'll be pretty good. We'll see first reaction right now. Good. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Full energized now? Well, let me finish it first. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at our very first portage and Sean's gonna do some funky camera editing after this. But we are May 26th, beautiful day, very buggy, hoping it doesn't get too bad, but we'll see. So stay tuned, I'll let you know the details of the bugginess. Good job, Yeti, lead the way. Well, this is, I brought two phones. I'm using my other phone. My wife's got another one. She's behind me. And the trail's not bad. Everywhere there's mud, well, except for here. There's a bridge. Uh, but we'll go around. And the bugs are really bad. Mosquitoes and black flies. So, anyways. Very muddy. Come on, muddy Yeti. Look at those paws, eh? Full of mud. What are you gonna do? Too cold to go swimming. Okay, onward we go. Okay, just taking a quick little break. First time I ever got to use one of those canoe holders, so that's gonna be handy. Don't have to flip that back on my back. And Yeti is looking for mom. Let's see if I can flip my camera around. There. Go find mom. Yeah, he's not on his leash, but uh, there's nobody around. So if we start seeing people, we'll throw a leash on him. I think he's okay for now. He's having a blast. There's my wife. She's doing the backpack, front pack, backpack. Looking yes, good. Too, but... Oh, you put some bug spray on? Oh, yeah, I said the bugs are bad. They're bad. I'll give you a take that. Oh, yeah. So did I. There's our rest point. No, no bugs there for some reason. Yeah, that's what I get there. <laughs> I'm gonna just about to record just a little bit of this trail. Overall, it's pretty uh, nice. A lot of dry areas. Still, also a lot of wet areas, but there are a lot of uh, platforms that you can walk over, and most of the muddier areas. So far, I mean, I think it's a great little hike. I'm sure there's yet to come some obstacles, but for now, I think it's pretty good. Besides the mosquitoes flying around and bothering me, overall, I think it's a fantastic little walk. So what'd you think of that? What'd you think of that? Oh, it was good. It was a really nice trail, 
Yeah, nice trail. A little bit muddy, but it's kind of early in the season, so you expect that. Yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah. Well, this is the longest portage we've done. So. For this year. Hooray! So far. <laughs> so far, yeah, we got some big ones. Uh, so we got uh, four canoe trips. I got this one, and then in two weeks, I got another one, uh, Smoke Lake in that area and then in august we got canoe lake which is uh, just under 80 kilometers that's going to be six nights and then what's the other one? Oh, oh in the yeah. fall in the fall we're going to try one in october or almost october so yeah lots of lots of canoeing lots of portaging and it should be good however we are now on head lake It was. Very nice portage. I give a portage a rating, I'd give it a seven. The rating portage is now. So for who all is curious, my phone is being held by a DJI gimbal. Um, Osmo is five, I think. Then I bought a clamp on eBay where it's just connected to my canoe. Uh, just to avoid when I'm pat where when we're paddling and I take out the phone all the time and, and then it's either my wife paddling all by herself or my son and I get a lot of grief. So now this way here I can paddle at the same time and uh, everybody's happy. So hopefully this works out and uh, and smoother too. I think it's a little bit smoother so this We'll, see. we'll go to the side here. There we go. <clears throat> now everybody gets to see the shoreline as we're paddling. And my wife's still paddling herself. But we'll, we'll, we'll change it to the... Say hi, Yeti. A lot better. We tried changing things around a little bit in the canoe. We had everything kind of uh, stuffed differently and... He didn't know where to be, so we leave, left him some space right behind Tosh, and I think that's going to help. Okay, now we're kind of heading off track. There is a, uh, I don't know, sounds like a river. Stream in the dam. I'm not too sure. I want to check it out, see what it is, and then uh, we'll get back up. Definitely something going on here. I could actually feel the canoe being pulled into his. <laughs> All right. Full power reverse. Something cool there. There, right, we found this falls over here. This is on the opposite side of the lake. I'm assuming the water comes in here and uh, the other place where we're getting sucked into, that's where it goes out to a different lake. I'll have to find out what lake it is, but very nice. I thought it was cool how the light is bouncing off the water and just kind of dancing on the tree there. A little fork in the road. I think we'll be going right. Or maybe left. I don't know. Oh, there's a portage line right there, but... Okay, we'll figure it out. I think... Yeah, I think we're left. We're going left. We're going left, baby Yeti. Hey. I just skipped one big I oh, wasn't a big beaver dam. It was just there was an opening in it. And we tried to go through it. Well we did. But it was probably the most difficult thing I had to do <laughs> so far. All the water was going into that going through that one little section. Maybe kind of similar to the one that's coming up, not as bad. 
On your side, on your side. Hey, we're good, we're good. Okay. I really hope this is the right way. <laughs> well, it would be easier back. Ten fifteen harness lake. All for nothing. Not for nothing. Just leaving our marks. So we're just taking a break before our uh, head to harness. We're having our lunch right now, so we have um, chicken wraps with mosquitoes. Or Whatever that was, a juice fly. No, we're gonna have chicken, tomatoes, mayo, and I am the table. Well, here, a table for yours, at least. Anyway. We're gonna have cheese on that. So normally, what we do is we plan if we're gonna have chicken or steaks, which is gonna be for supper tonight. We always try to plan that for the first day. You don't want to carry chicken out too long in case it gets extremely warm. And this looks very yummy. Good? Oh yeah, that is definitely good. Okay, then some mayo, and then num num time. And then we're gonna yeah. hit that, uh, yeah. that portage. Yeah, the other one was the easy one. Not this one, we got this to climb. Oh well, it's not supposed to be easy, right? No, I'm just saying it's not supposed to be easy. Yeti, don't eat this stuff. Hey, we finished that portage, 1065. 1035. 35. No stops. Good job, Mom. Good job, good, good job, Yeti. So now we just got to hit, uh, we're on Harness Knit Lake now. We're heading over to a portage. Is that so, portage? What? Is that no. portage? Yeah, yeah, we got another portage. Oh, one more portage? One oh, more oh, yeah, portage. It's, uh, 250 or something, a small one. Yeah, one more portage and then, uh, yeah, 145, and then we're at our lake. Part, party, not party, party. Lake. No parties happening there. Get in. Ready? In. Come on, show us. You're an expert now. Oh, oh. There you go. You only fumbled it twice instead of five times like last time. You're getting it. Mommy's turn. Oh yeah. Go away. Blood sucker. Our Northern Ontarios would say. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Oh gosh, all those rowing exercises are paying off. Batting a lot straighter than last year. Last year we were doing circles. So, anyways, uh, we do use Strava a lot for uh, locating where we're going. So I do map it out. So I trace a line exactly where I have to go. And then uh, we're just taking a look. I mentioned that we're doing four canoe trips, but we're also doing a uh, 35 kilometer hike and it happens to be just on the edge of here is so Harness Lake and there's some campgrounds we're just checking out as we're paddling by 
and in our direction is over there. So that's where we're heading. The last portage of the day. Hey, we just arrived at our last portage. This one here is. Before I say that, we just saw the back end of a deer just before we got to the portage. Just took off in the bush here not too long ago. But he was right there. They're quick. Anyways, this one here, 145 harness to Pardi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing right. But anyways, 145. Up that hill right off the bat. Awesome. I just came across this bridge. On that little 145 portage. Hey, okay, made it to our lot. And uh, I started getting nervous because I know there's only one lot on this lake. Then I saw another canoe with nothing in it, so I got scared. But looks like we got here and there's nobody here, so. Home for two days. I like it. I like it so far. Yeah, it's a good spot. Nice fire pit. It's nice that people leave their garbage in their fire pit, especially cans. Thank you. Except for that, good lot. Just needs a little bit of cleanup in the fire pit. We'll take a better tour in a, after after I go get some wood and stuff. Okay, we'll give the site a quick little tour here. So over there is a nice I little view of the lake. Too? Yeah, you can take that off. You're free, Yeti. You got nowhere to go here anyways. So tent spot number one is okay. Not bad. No dead branches. Uh, yeah. You know what? If it was in the summertime, I'd probably want to be here. Just because I would want that breeze. It's going to get cool at night. I think it's going to go down to three tonight. So, Or back here. I think this one's a nice spot too. Right here. So I think that one's a good spot right there. It's in the shade. Not too far. And then, okay, so tent spot number one or two is what we're taking. And then the Toilet, thunder box, whatever you want to call it. Back here. It's a brand new one. Lucky us. Where is it, Yeti? I know you can smell it. Right here. So it's perfect. It's good. Hey, brand new. Except for you, you don't care. Yeah, so there's a lot, uh, I don't know how many people have been out here so far this year, probably none. But there's a lot of branches and twigs on the ground, so that'll be good for fire. And I might just go pick some up here and there, but it's a cool lot. Very cool. You ready, Yeti? Don't cry. <laughs> come on, come on. It's nice not to be in the canoe all the time, eh? See if I can make that work. If not, we'll just fast forward the whole thing. Yeah, that's all. Okay, we're just switching our foot gear and from our boots to our 
Oh, they're not called Crocs, but... Nine Crocs. Nine Crocs. Steely <laughs> Crocs. Much better. Now the bugs can eat your feet, not my feet, because I left my socks on. Mm, that's your fault. Hey, Eddie. I'm in twinsy with mommy. One. Nice hat. Woohoo. Sexy. My hat, though, you can't keep it. Hey, you happy? You happy? Mom, be happy. <laughs> you don't have to wear it. Want to give him his toy now, or? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest. I don't care if a hammock weighed 10 pounds. I still would bring it. This is so perfect. Just get to chill. I'd like to take a nap right now, but got to get supper going. So bring a hammock. Don't forget that. You know the best thing about going camping is bringing Yeti. Not that one. This one. No. That Yeti. Right, Yeti? Right? Yeah, you're a cool one. Those are cool too though. Well, we bought a new a new mat. It's called the, let's throw it on the ground here. The Rapid SL Tent Floor. So this is big enough for me and Tosh, which is gonna fit pretty much the whole floor of the tent. And uh, it's a little, it's a little big. It wasn't bad carrying, it's not heavy or anything like that. I did a review on it and it's, uh, you can find it on YouTube. I'll put it on the link somewhere, but we're going to try it out this weekend. It'll be the first uh, test, and uh, I'll let everybody know at the end of this video how it was. But uh, I might just because I didn't like those small mats. Hopefully this works out. There we go. That's what it looks like all filled up. This is the three man tent, so it's not quite filling up the whole thing, which is good. We have room on the sides. And uh, yeah, that looks comfy. Eddie, you ready to go get some wood? Going on a little adventure. Let's go find some wood. Me and Yeti are going to find some wood. We got wood, but we'll go find some more. We're going beyond the tent. Further than the bathroom. To find wood. Get your saw? I have my saw. Your axe? I don't need my axe. Okay, so I watch a lot of YouTube videos and it was one of the view videos, it was two packs and a pup. And I believe they were showing this rock and there's a little cave underneath here. So, I don't know if they, anybody else watches those videos, but I'm pretty sure this rock was in there. I don't know if it kind of peeled off and fell. That's what I'm guessing. We'll have to double check on their video and see if it's like that. If so, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, double check that out. Hey, come on, Yeti. Got to keep searching. There we go. Got our big piece of wood. Plus, there's some already here. Just have to split it. And thank you, Yeti, for being my companion. Actually, he took off on me three times. But we still got our wood. And now you're tired. I sure bought you some gloves. Okay, 20 more pieces. <laughs> okay, so here we have the pile of wood that Sean just cut up. And now he's going to get ready to start the fire.
little bit of birch bark on the bottom. Got no choice but to do that. Well, for supper today, we're having kind of mushrooms, onions, onions and peppers. Yep. I can add more peppers if you want more peppers. Uh, no, that's good. And then we're having these sticks. That's good. And a loo. Mmm. <laughs> that looks good. And what else we're having? And mashed veggies. Potatoes. And mashed potatoes. Yeah. The instant mashed potatoes that take what five minutes? Yeah. What is what is it? Well, it takes uh, as long as the water boils. Okay. And that's herbs or Right? Is that the herb one? Uh, garlic, I think. Garlic. Okay. So, anyways, steaks, and potatoes, and mushrooms, and all that for supper. Can't wait. Well, I'm gonna say it's like Shea Pocket Restaurant here. That looks very yummy. What do you say? Very yummy. Can't wait to eat it. Me too. Okay, update on our meal. Um, best steak I've ever had it in the bush ever. Oh, very good. Best bush steak. Best bush steak. <laughs> we did good. You we like broccoli? Good. Daddy, you can have some. Sorry. Sure can. We're just doing our hot chocolate and coffee. Gosh, she doesn't drink coffee, but hot water while filming. You look perfect. Okay, that's good. Good. And I'm doing the, what is this called again? The Euro Press, correct? Yeah. Bought that last year. Awesome. Love it. I even did that at home sometimes. But uh, first time this year. It's relax time. Where's your stir thing? You're While the sun again. goes down. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to stir it. Where's your stir stick? I'm going to stir mine before you stir yours. Okay. You ever see that scene? In uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator, when he falls in the mud and he uh, hides inside the tree, and the predator can't see them. Well, that's how it kind of works for me with black flies and mosquitoes. Unlike her, she's got no mud on her. <laughs> she's getting attacked by all predators. Uh, I'm lucky. Do not. They just like you, Tosh. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay, Tosh, what was awesome today? Um, well, the portages were easier than I expected. Yeah, um, that was good. But I really liked the, the falls that we've seen. And uh, what, what lake was that the falls were on? That was Harness Lake. A Harness Lake? Or was it Head Lake? No, it was Head. It was the first one. I like that the water was clear. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, the water is super clear. I did like that. Uh, I also like the, that falls. That was pretty awesome. And the portages, not bad. I'm kind of impressed. Like I said, the, the biggest one that we ever done was 1.2. This one here was 1.7-ish. And then we did a 1.1 almost. So, not bad. Getting ready for the big ones that are coming up. We're going to have some 3,000-meter uh, 3, portages coming up. So, good practice. And Eddie, who did you like today? Where are you? Are you you are hiding from bugs. I am so sorry. I wish I had that. I ordered a no bug zone tent and it's in right now. The only problem is I'm not there. <laughs> so we didn't bring it. Next time. We'll have it. And this is our view right now. Pretty cool. It doesn't get much cooler than this. I'll put up with mosquitoes and black flies any time for this. How about you, Josh? Uh, I'm becoming short patient, so eventually it, the bugs are going to win out on me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I love the view. Okay, me too.